Leader, on the 11th of March 2020, the then Taoiseach Leo Varadkar forecast that 85,000 people could die from the coronavirus. The death toll today is 4,989, thankfully. A long way from what was predicted. We now have the data, we now know the virus, we know what to do to keep ourselves safe and what level of risks to take. On the 31st of May, I spoke up in this chamber and I spoke up about the contradictions in the Irish government's reopening plan. However, nothing was done. Hotels served dinners indoors while restaurants and pubs had their trade confined to outdoors. Back in May, I agreed with the comments of Adrian Cummins of the Restaurant Association, who called for the double standards unjust and discriminatory. However, nothing was done. Hospitality struggled on with one glimmer of hope, July the 5th. Nearly a month later, from the, 5th, from the May 31st, I find myself disheartened, dispirited and unmotivated to see that the already inadequate plan is about to be changed. July the 5th and the already overdue promises it held is about to be ripped away. Nearly a month later, from May the 31st, I find myself using the same rhetoric. People in power are playing with people's lives and that is a very serious problem. Does the government realise the impact that this will have on pubs and restaurants on or our aviation sector? Does the government realise the impact they're having on all those currently on pub are waiting to go back to work? The gov does the government realise how long our hospitality sector and aviation has already suffered? If the government did realise the impact that their lack of leadership is having, then we would not be waiting until Wednesday. June the 30th, five days before the promised day of July the 5th, to decide whether they are going to help or hinder hospitality in this country. If they choose to hinder it by refusing to stick to the roadmap, then consequences will be serious. I listened this morning to, uh, to RTE Radio 1 to Dr Sam McConkie, probably better known as Dr Zero Covid, stating that July the 5th date for e reopening of our next phase should go ahead. I cannot stress the damage that will be done due to the government's decision and their subsequent indecision about their decisions. To lock down or to not lock down, that is the constant question which we ask in this country and the result is severely instability. Over the weekend I read an interesting article, the city state of Singapore has decided to treat Covid like any other endemic disease such as flu. They have stopped with the zero transmission targets. They will stop wearing masks, they will halt lockdowns, they will no longer require quarantines, they will learn to live with COVID-19. In the words of their trade, finance and health ministers, we cannot eradicate it, but we can turn the pandemic into something much less threatening, like influenza or chickenpox, and get on with our lives. Get on with our lives. That is what we all want to do. But when will that happen? This government will not be able to decide on anything, so I couldn't ask them to decide on that. Instead, I will tell them now and when it should happen. Now is when we should be leading the country back with strong leadership. Now is when we should get on with it. Back to you, Margaret. Um, Sharon spoke. Actually, I think the most interesting thing that you brought about, Sharon, this morning, apart from your frustrations, was the Singapore um, article, and I read it too on Sunday. Um, it really it is. Sometimes it's, it's kind of frustrating to watch other countries being so much further ahead of you in their thinking. Um, and I think we all accept that just because we're all going to get vaccinated, please God, in the next couple of months, that COVID isn't just going to willy as well. You know, it's, it's way away. Uh, it's probably going to take a number of years. And so we all need to be planning as to how you best live. Um, with, alongside COVID, particularly for the people who don't want to get vaccinated and for our children who no plans have been made for yet. But I think um, that was a very interesting article. I'll just acknowledge your frustration this morning.